Before we start, I want to mention two additional resources that are available for users of the 5392. First, we have the 5392 Quick Reference Tip Card that describes basic operation of the 5392. Second, we have the Compatibility Guide that lists all compatible leads and accessories. Now tell me, how do I set up the device for a patient? Once you get your 5392 temporary pacemaker, Medtronic recommends that you start out with a fresh new set of AA sized batteries. As mentioned, replacement is simple. Just press this button and the battery drawer opens. Remember to ensure proper polarity. Once the batteries are installed, make sure the battery status indicator displays full battery power and that the low battery indicator is not flashing. How long is the typical battery life? With continuous operation at nominal values, the battery will last for a minimum of seven days. Now confirm that the set of patient or surgical cables is compatible with the connector block. Here's an example of a compatible connector plug. Right, that's an added safety feature. The connector block does not support direct connection of heart wires or exposed electrical connectors. Now that you have the correct cables, inspect the cables and leads for possible defects. Verify the device is off and secure the connection. Is there a way I know that the cable has been completely inserted? Yes, the audible click verifies that the plug is completely inserted into the socket. In addition, to ensure a good connection, gently pull on the cable connector. Now connect the leads to the appropriate cable. Match positive and negative leads to corresponding positive and negative. Notice that they are also color-coded, blue for atrium and white for ventricle. Now you're ready to turn on the 5392. You will need to determine sensing and pacing thresholds. Medtronic recommends that you use a safety margin of 2 to 1. Check the quick reference tip card for the appropriate steps. While the device is in use with a patient, Medtronic recommends checking the battery status regularly. Also, remember to replace the batteries for each new patient. Again, there are two additional resources. First, we have the 5392 Quick Reference Tip Card for basic operation. Second, we have the Compatibility Guide for a listing of all compatible leads and accessories. Thanks, I appreciate you showing me Medtronic's new dual chamber temporary pacemaker. I'm really looking forward to using it. Thanks for your time.